Welcome back to class, everybody. For chapter one, Kathy Rosser emailed in with a question. So it was on page 13, question number two. The question reads, show that the sum of any five consecutive odd whole numbers has a factor of five. So what we're going to do first is we're going to try it with the manipulatives over here. And I've picked out the easiest five consecutive odd whole numbers, one, three, five, seven, and nine. So we want to demonstrate that the sum of all of these numbers will have a factor of 5. So we're going to take 2 from the 9 and move them over here to the 1. So now these two are even. And then we're going to take um, 2 from the 7 and move them over to the 1. And then 2 more from the 9 and move them over to the 3. We haven't eliminated or added any cubes, but as you can see, we have five fives now. So that means that this number is going to be easily divisible by five. A factor of this number is five. So now that we've seen it with the manipulatives, we're going to see how it works using algebra. What we're going to do is we're going to take those same five numbers, one, three, five, seven, and nine. And we're going to have the first number uh, be x. If the first number is x, what do I do to x to get the second number? Right, I add two, x plus two. What do I do to x to get the third number? Well, what plus 1 is equal to 5? 4. So this is going to be x plus 4. What do I do to get the 7? x plus 6, because 1 plus 6 is equal to 7. And what do I do to get the 9? x plus 8. So now I'm going to pretend like this could be any number, which now it could, because now we have an x, which is a variable. And then I'm going to combine all of these to get our sum. So I'm going to do x plus x plus 2 plus x plus 4 plus x plus 6 plus x plus 8. And that should be our sum. Now just using the x's, we can, we can go ahead and combine like terms. How many x's do we have? We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 x's. So we have 5 x. Now, how many, how many numbers do we have here? We have 2 plus 4 plus 6 plus 8. What is that? Well, we can combine the 6 and the 4 and get 10, and the 2 and the 8 and get another 10, so we have 20. 5x plus 20. Now notice, if we divide our sum, this uh, whole equation is equivalent to this, by 5, we know it will go in evenly, because we can divide each term by 5 and get x plus 4. And in this case, the x plus 4 was the no number 1 that we started with here. So we started with number 1 in the manipulatives, and there was only 1. But now we added 4 to that, so we have 5. x plus 4 is going to be the number that we're going to get, in this case, 5. So we have solved our problem, and we have shown that the sum of any five consecutive odd whole numbers has a factor of five. We've done it using the manipulatives, and we've, we've also done it using algebra. Thank you, Kathy, for asking that question, and um, we'll see you next time for another problem.